Hey there, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. Welcome, Welcome to, to Queer, Queer Kid, Kid Stuff. Stuff. Today, we're talking about, you guessed it, Frozen. Queer Kid Stuff. You are enough here at Queer Kid Stuff. Welcome back to Queer Kid Stuff. Today, we're talking about one of our all-time favorite movies. Maybe you've heard of it. Frozen! <laughs> That's right. I want to talk about Frozen because you might not know this, but it's totally feminist and queer. Teddy, do you remember when we talked about feminism? Yeah, I do. Well, there's a lot of really awesome feminist stuff in Frozen that you might not know about. Most of the feminist stuff in Frozen has to do with sisterhood. Teddy, have I told you that I actually have three sisters? Yeah, I think so. We've talked about what our families look like before. Well, I've got a very special surprise for you today. It's my little sister, Rose. Hey, Lynn. It's good to see you, Teddy. Ah, uh, Rose! Hi, Rose! Hi. Wait, wait. Can you tell everyone your pronouns first and how you identify? Sure, Teddy. I use she, her, hers, and I identify as a straight, cisgendered lady. Rose, I was just talking about feminism and sisterhood in Frozen. Want to walk us through it with our handy-dandy popsicle puppets? Definitely! So there are two sisters, Elsa and Anna. And Elsa has these magical powers where she can turn things to ice and snow. When Elsa and Anna are little kids, their parents are shipwrecked and never return home. Now all they have is each other. But Elsa is scared of hurting Anna with her power, so she hides them from her and the world. But all Anna wants to know is that her sister loves her. When Elsa's secret hidden powers are accidentally revealed to everyone, she gets scared and runs away, and her fear turns summer into winter throughout the whole kingdom. Everything is cold and covered in ice, and Elsa is the only one who can change it back. So with the help of her friends Kristoff and Olaf, and with the kingdom being watched over by Prince Hans, Elsa runs after her sister. While on her quest, Anna gets hurt and needs help, and the only thing that can save her is an act of true love. Now what you might think at this point in the movie is that the only thing that will save Anna is to kiss either Hans or Kristoff. But that's not what happens. The act of true love that saves Anna is when she protects her sister. The most important relationship in the movie is all about sisterhood. And that's a very feminist idea. That love between two sisters can be more important than a girl's love for a boy. While that might be something we know is true in our lives, books and movies rarely tell stories about women like that. And that's why this part of Frozen is feminist. Okay, okay, I get it. Now I want to know why it's queer. Excellent question. Okay, the queer part is pretty specifically about the character Elsa. Elsa's so cool. She's got magic powers, and she has that awesome song. Exactly. And her queerness has everything to do with her powers and the song she sings. Now, there isn't anything in Frozen that directly tells us that Elsa is queer, but there are a couple clues we can take a closer look at. The first clue is that she doesn't have any romantic interests in the story. The only person in the whole movie with romantic stuff is Anna. That's right. The second and third clues are Elsa's magical powers and the song Let It Go. Both of these clues have to do with coming out. What's coming out? It's a saying. Talking about coming out is short for coming out of the closet. Like when you get dressed in the morning? <laughs> no, Teddy. We're going to get more into what coming out is in a future episode, but for now, we can think of coming out as a moment. Specifically, the first moment an LGBTQ plus person tells another person that they identify as LGBTQ plus. Okay, that sort of makes sense. In Frozen, Elsa is scared of her powers. She tries to conceal her feelings because she is scared of her powers and how they might hurt other people. This is very similar to how some LGBTQ plus feel when they first realize they are LGBTQ plus. There are many different reasons for this. That's really sad, Lindsay. I know. If you think about it, in the beginning of the movie, Elsa is kind of a sad character. But that brings us to our final clue, let it go. Elsa finally realizes that she can be who she truly is. 
She can finally be herself when she lets go of all of her fears and she puts on a fancy dress and sings a cool, empowering song. Sounds pretty queer to me. Definitely. And it's very like coming out of the closet for a lot of LGBTQ plus people. A lot of people who look at these clues I've just talked about really think Elsa is a queer character because of this. And you know that Disney is working on a Frozen sequel movie, right? What? <laughs> I know! And a lot of people really want Disney to give Elsa a girlfriend. They wanted Elsa to actually have a love story with a girl in the next movie. I thought that was pretty cool. That would be seriously awesome. It's probably not going to happen in the next movie, but it would be so cool if it did. But even if Elsa doesn't get a girlfriend, we can still think of her as a queer character. That's so cool. I learned so much new stuff about Frozen. I'm so glad, Teddy. Thank you so much for coming, Rose, and helping us out with this episode. And um, you can subscribe to the channel for new episodes every other Wednesday. And you can help support us on Patreon as well. Our patrons are awesome. And that's it from us. We'll see you next time. Queer, Queer Kid, Kid Stuff. stuff.